Hi, my name is Garrett. In this video, I'll be explaining some of the basics behind the payment service on BlackBerry 10. Without the use of digital goods being sold through the payment services, the ways you can monetize your app are pretty limited. Your two options are to sell your app or give it away for free. Both have drawbacks. The first, it is tough to sell enough to make a decent profit. The second, you have a model that doesn't make any profit at all. But as soon as digital goods are added to the mix, many new monetization options open up. The possibilities are really boundless. There's no real right way to monetize. There are many, many ways you can monetize, and it's up to you to choose a strategy that is in line with the experience you want for your application. Payment services are supported across all platforms. So no matter which language you use to develop for BlackBerry 10, you can add in support for selling digital goods. The payment service supports three types of digital goods, consumable, non-consumable, and subscription. Consumable goods are a great option if you have many goods to sell. A consumable good can be sold multiple times and has the ability to have the details of the good set programmatically. Non-consumable or static goods are good for items that only need to be purchased once, like unlocking a level in a game. And finally, subscriptions are great if your application provides an ongoing service. This type of digital good will charge the user on a recurring basis. Currently, this can be done at seven or 30 day intervals. Of course, after you've chosen a monetization approach and determined what kind of digital goods you want to sell, the next step is to test out your implementation. Local testing is great for debugging your application before uploading to BlackBerry World. In local mode, you have control over what payment service replies your application receives. This is a great first step to test your app logic and ensure everything is working as expected in your app. Sandbox testing is the next step in testing. This is what you would do after all the debugging has been completed and you only need to verify that all the digital goods are added to the vendor portal properly. With sandbox testing, the workflow is just like a real user would experience when making a purchase with two main differences. The first, there are no transactions logged in the back end. This means that retrieving past purchases will not work and transaction IDs will all be zero. The second is that sandbox users will not get charged. Finally, there's production mode testing. In this mode, the app would need to be public and downloaded through BlackBerry World. All purchases while the app is in production mode will actually get billed and transactions are recorded in the database, giving you 100% accurate results. Now I'm going to walk through a quick demonstration showing local and sandbox testing. On my device, I have two copies of the same application. One is local mode enabled and was sideloaded from the BlackBerry NDK, and the other was downloaded through the BlackBerry World client using my sandbox BlackBerry ID. When the app is first launched, there's no way to tell immediately what mode it is running in. But as soon as I try to make a purchase with the local mode app, you'll see that a dialog appears allowing me to select the response received back by the application. These responses are formatted in the same way they would be returned by BlackBerry World, making it very easy to test the in-app response logic of your application. Changing over to the sandbox downloaded application, you can see that the purchase flow is a bit different. The flow actually completes as if I were testing any application from BlackBerry World. However, as I mentioned earlier, you do not actually get charged. Ready to get going? If you don't already have a BlackBerry World vendor account, then you want to get one created. Next, the BlackBerry Jam Zone services page will provide links to service docs and samples for each development approach. Thanks for watching.